Hey there, welcome to Hillaby Creek. I am Mighty Mike, and uh, this map is being released by Gamer Designs. You may know that name from one of his other maps, uh, Brian Valley. So we're going to take a look around the map today. Uh, this map tour is being done on a pre-release version. So anything you see here today is subject to change. And my understanding is uh, Gamer Designs is trying to get this to Giants for testing here very, very soon. I'll leave a link to Gamer Designs in the description of the video below. So you can go check him out, give him a follow, and that way you'll have a way to connect with him and follow the progress of the map. So before we get started, we'll go ahead and take a look at the map itself. So this is it here. Uh, it's, it, it's not a whole lot of fields on the map. It is a lot of forestry, uh, but one of the neat things is you can buy pretty much every single piece of property on the map. I haven't found any piece that you couldn't buy, so that is really neat. Uh, to start with, in New Farmer mode, you start with fields 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, which is over here. You have a forestry area over here. There is a cow pen up here. And then you have these two parcels here that this one has the uh, sawmill. And this one has a sell point on it. Land prices on the map are rather reasonable. The starting piece of parcel that you have that includes the three locations uh, here, the cow farm and this wooded area, they are linked $143,876. If we look at some of these other farms, uh, this one here, $146,116. And then if you hop up here into the forest area, you know, 143, 36, 34, 106, 85. So uh, rather reasonable. Uh, it should be easy to get going on this map and be able to actually afford the land. If we look in the uh, goods menu here, we have the uh, base game products, all of your pr base game productions and crops. So one of the interesting things that I have found is with two parcels on the map, uh, this parcel up here, which is uh, a location, if you see here, all we're showing is a, a train rental location. Uh, but if we buy the parcel, then we now have Grain Pool East showing up. Now, if we go over here to our selling locations, I'm not showing any Grain Pool East here. If we go to our production, well, I don't see any production, so I'm not sure what's going on there. And then the other location is this one down here uh, on this farm. If we buy that one, we now see that there is a grain west silo still not showing up in the sell points or productions. So I'm not sure uh, what's going on there. Uh, let's take a quick tour here around the farm. So you do start out with a pickup truck. Oh, let's check the uh, starting equipment here uh, that is owned. We got a small tractor, the Buer, 100 horsepower. Medium tractor, 175 horsepower, John Deere. Two forestry machines. You got a tree cutting machine and a border, I guess is what it's called. You can load up your logs and haul them out of the woods couple cars, you got a pickup truck and, and a Mahindra. The smallest plow in the game, <laughs> a little Pottinger plow. And then you have another boarding trailer here. So if you are going to farm, you got a lot of equipment to buy. If you want to do some forestry, well, you're set up pretty good. Um, one of the things that I do like about these fences, and I do like the fences, but not everybody does, and you, as you grow your farm, you may want to change them up. Well, that is no problem because you can sell them. So that is a really good thing, being able to sell the fences. I like that. So on the main farm, you do have the farmhouse, and I do have the uh, triggers on there so we can see where they are, you do have a grain silo back here. 
and you have your shed over here. So as far as buildings on your starting farm, not a whole lot. Uh, you just have this basically one barn here. You do have a fuel tank. And that's it. Kind of leaves you a lot of room to develop it as you would like. And I am a big fan of that. All of these uh, pre-done farms, although some of them are very beautiful. I do like to customize things myself. And grow my farm the way I would choose. So this farm here gives you a lot of opportunity. Like I said, there are a lot of fences. But there's a lot of opportunity you can expand out. Delete the fences if you choose. You can add fences if you just like your helpers getting stuck in them. <laughs> but yeah, so a lot of possibilities here on this farm. Do have a river back here. Uh, there's a train on the farm. I do see a tree in the middle of the train tracks. Well, that will definitely need to be removed. So if we zoom up here a little bit, I'm just going to fly around this map. Uh, with it, all the trees on the map, it's hard to do a driving tour. But we'll just do a little fly around. Uh, there's a little recreation area here, um, mainly for decoration. Uh, one thing that is neat, you see all of these trees with the markers on them. Show in the property line. That is really cool. I like that. So what I'll do is we'll just fly out of the property here onto the road. Uh, this is mainly just a little subdivision area. Uh, there is a farm over here to the right. We come down here. It meanders back through the woods here. And there are some fields over here. And this is that one silo that showed up. So it must just be a grain silo that you can maybe transport your grain around. I'm not sure. Uh, there is no production icon there. Yeah, it looks just like a uh, maybe a grain silo so you can move grain around with the train. There is a little buy silo here or lime. Maybe fertilizer there. More fields here. So nearby your farm, there is quite a bit of land that you can purchase if you really want to make some big farms. And of course, you do have some land back here. Little water crossing there, which is neat. So if you want to farm, you got plenty of land to do it. If we fly out here, heading into town, we'll just fly right over the trees. This here is your cow pen. It is already equipped with 10 cows or 20 cows. It holds 25 and does already have hay and grass in it. And you see the cows get to walk through the water there. So that is really neat. That would be even cooler if they were able to drink out of there. So if we fly down here, you see there are a couple more plots here. There is a greenhouse back there. And then out that way, you see there is a lot of farmland available. I do like that there are some kind of more starter farms here. You could choose this one here. If you just want to live in your mobile home, have a couple covered parking areas. So that is pretty neat. A couple different ways you could play this map. I do have a biogas plant here. This is uh, kind of interesting here. You have your, what would be your dealership here. It does have your repair trigger, but when you actually buy equipment, it spawns over here in this lot. So that's uh, interesting. There you have your buy trigger there as well. A couple of productions around the property. Um, as a matter of fact, I think, oh, this is, yeah, that's the woodworking production there. Uh, you do have a fuel station and then your animal dealer is right over there. Uh, one thing I did find is that 
But this truck looked really good. And I was wondering how it could look so good being a staged item. Because you look at these, you know, you can see through <laughs> the uh, headlight there. Well, come to find out, you can actually use this truck. And I found that surprising because if we look in our equipment, there is no truck in here. So I don't know who owns it. Oh. Oh. Well, that's sneaky. Huh. Well, that's interesting. It says it's rented by me. But there's no rental item. So, huh. I wonder if this is down here at this location to be used as like a delivery truck. I don't know. But that is, uh, that's pretty neat. I wonder if I will be charged every day for the rental fee. So down here in town, uh, you do have a rock crusher down here. So this is where all of your, uh, a lot of your sell points are down here in town. Uh, they're scattered about. So this is where you'll be coming to distribute your products. You do have another farm out this way. Nice little road sign there. Forestry land, town, or fire tower. Big shed out here. Another fuel tank. More land. A lot more land. There is some places along the map where you can load the train. We won't go over there just yet. So we'll take a look at the rest of this farmland here. We'll just zoom around here. You do have this area here that you own. Another fuel tank. Another forestry area. Old decorations there. We have a saw sawmill sign there. Probably shouldn't be. And then you just have some abandoned buildings out here. If you're doing some role play, that would be really neat. Be able to maybe buy that and do a little fixer upper thing. And then we'll continue on out this way. You do have grain mill. And then over here. Looks like, uh, that looks like wood chips. So let's take a look at the map here. Let's buy that real quick. I am not seeing any type of uh, trigger here. It looks like that is decoration. So you could put your own cell point down here if you wanted to. And then out this way, you have a nice covered bridge. I love the covered bridges. And then we'll fly around here and the road ends. That is a dead end into the forest. So now we're, we got the forest here. So there are a lot of pine trees, as you can see, mostly pine trees here. But there are different growth levels. Uh, these are the spruce, I believe they are. I think it will tell me it won't tell me I think those are spruce trees and then you got some smaller ones so it looks like they have come in and cut this and then it's grown back after they've replanted you got some bigger spruce trees down here and then out here you've got them mixed in with the pines and then over here there's some bigger trees and this is where your other equipment is uh, you have the John Deere out here with the uh, the little trailer. And then you have your two forestry machines out here. So none of the trees are cut. There is a little area here opened up for you. But there's a lot of, a lot of trees to cut down out here. Again, another staging area for your logs. And I tell you, the 
the roads over into this forestry area are really cool. Come down here to the middle of the map. See the train does run around the map. So we're right here in the middle of the map and we're about to go across over into the forestry area. So uh, there are some, the train crossings work. So there is a river that divides the farmland from the forestry land. And here is a really steep grade coming up here. Even some uh, rough roads there. But that is just part of it because <laughs> it then it's way up to get up here to the top of this mountain and then it levels off except for a hole but it does level off a bit and you'd be able to work up here pretty good uh, there is a fire tower way back over here awesome view from this vantage point of the creek and the valley or the river and the valley but all over here is all forestry areas there's a whole lot of trees on this map uh, the terrain varies if you can see here we have a nice little dip here down into the Well, I don't know what you would call it. It's just a, a low spot here. But then right up here, you have a, a cliff. And then it's flat up here again. Uh, there are rocks scattered about. Deer. A whole lot of pine trees. Now, the only thing about the pine trees, they are really easy to log. The logging machines and the grapples grab onto them really well um, the only thing that I have found in my experience is they don't bring as much money as some of the other logs but uh, that's just based on the tree now these trees over here looks like they have been thinned much much taller forestry forever and then here's an area back here that looks like it had been replanted and is regrowing. So really well done. I uh, like there's a lot of uh, variation in the elevation as well as your your options if you want to uh, do some logging, do some farming. Again, another road that comes across the river. Another steep grade up to the the landing area. So. You better buy a truck or a tractor that's got some oomph to get up that hill. That's all I'm going to say. So those are the two crossing areas to get across to the forestry area. Fly back down along the river. There is no other crossing so one of those two ways are are it so that is the map in a nutshell there's a lot of room to uh, develop it as you would like through your gameplay a lot of stuff already built in I like it I like it very well done I think you guys will enjoy it so don't forget to uh, give the video a like uh, if you're new to my channel go ahead and subscribe and uh, also make sure you go over and follow gamer designs give him a follow let them know you're looking forward to the map let them know mighty mike sent you so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoy the tour and i hope each of you have a blessed day